Hey everybody, how's it going? Tonight we're doing a quick tip with Fusion 360 using the offset feature. It is super simple, super powerful. Um, it saves me a lot of clicks. I like using it. Uh, if it's something you haven't really played with in the past, stick around. You might learn something. If you've used it before, have a great day. Uh, you may not be learning much here because it's so simple to use, but um, the offset feature is very powerful. I love it. Uh, it's primarily used in a sketch workspace. So if we apply a sketch here to this particular plane and I just do something simple like throw in a rectangle um, and then I hit O for offset, all right, then the offset menu comes up. You can also hit the, the offset uh, icon up here next to your trim feature and it'll pop up. Um, then select the curves you want to offset. So I can just hover over and it'll tell me what's selected. If you've got a chain selection here, it's everything. If you uncheck it, you're just doing individual lines. So in this case, if we select everything, and I select that line, now I can just sort of click click and drag in and out, right? So I can apply an inset or an offset. In this case, it doesn't really matter. Lots of times what I'm doing is like I'm doing a catch-all tray on my CNC, um, or I want to model a wall thickness particularly that I'm going to 3D print, and I want to be precise on the amount of offset that I'm applying. So in this case, let's call this a CNC router a project. I'm going to do a 0.25, so we'll do this a quarter of an inch insert. Um, and, uh, and there's really nothing more to it. There's your offset. You're done. You of course could have applied like another center rectangle and then scaled that to a certain size. To me, applying an offset is just a quick and dirty way to make that, uh, make that same function a little bit faster. So from here, if I do an E for extrude and go ahead and bring this up to a 0.75 inch board, and then an E for extrude here and bring the sketch back to life. And I pop this up to, let's just call it 350 thousandths. So now I've got a, a, you know, an easy little tray that I can go ahead and throw on the CNC and run some toolpaths on it. But that's not the only thing that you can do, obviously. I mean, you can do this as not just straight lines. You can do this on curved line circles, whatever. So if I, let's just say there was a feature in here. Uh, I'm going to create a circle on that surface. And I'm going to go ahead and drop a hole in this part. So let's say there was a hole in this part and I wanted a specific offset to that part. Obviously I could, I could measure it and I could drop a circle in the middle and I can make it a little bit bigger. Um, the other option is to apply an offset to that uh, of an exact distance that I know. So if I want to apply an eighth inch offset to that circle, that's only an eighth of an inch deep. I can hit O for offset. I can select that plane, this line, and I can come out 0.125. And now I can do E for extrude and click that and say negative 0.125. And now I've got a nice eighth inch wide and eighth inch deep counterbore around that particular feature. Really, really simple. I really like using offsets. Um, it seems to help a lot. Um, another, another issue is, like I said, it doesn't have to be just straight lines or even just circles or cylinders. You can do this with splines as well. So if we back this feature off, <clears throat> and let's just make this an e for extrude, a solid piece of wood here. So this is a three quarter inch solid piece of wood. We'll go. Uh, this is something I've typically done where I'll go through the same process of I want to offset the outline of this box. I want to bring it in um, negative 125 thou. And then I also want to apply some T-splines to give this, maybe I'm doing something topographical here, right? So. Um, we'll start here and we'll come out. We'll do a couple of curves, something, whatever, organic, quote unquote, and hit the checkbox. So now I can apply an offset to this line as well, to this particular shape, hit O for offset, click that. I can come in this way uh, and I can do it. I can do it as many times as I want. The rub is, the rub here is that I do O for offset. I can't offset the result of an offset. If that makes sense. So if I click this line to offset it, then I'm going to get an error message because it is a result of offsetting this line. No problem. Just click that line again and now you can off. So you can offset your original line as many times as you want. No problem. Hit O for offset again. Makes this a little bit longer. And you can see that the geometry of the shape changes uh, ever so slightly the farther away you get, right? Or if you come in this way, it's changing it um, and, and accentuating the curves is what it's doing, right? So I'm gonna move this out a little bit. And let's say I'm gonna go ahead and do this on the other end. I'm gonna do another T-spline over here. And hit okay on that. I'll O for offset there and bring this out. O for offset again, and I'll bring it out. Come on, one more time. Bang. 
now I've got this solid block of wood with several designs on it. So now I can really do some step down patterns that I really want. So if I take this one and this one and E for extrude, whoa oh boy, I hit the wrong button. Hit this one and this one and hit E for extrude and do negative. I'll call that one an eighth. Bring the sketch back. I hate it when it does that. And I'll select this shape and this shape and do E for extrude and I'll negative that a quarter of an inch. And I'll do this one and this one and E for extrude and I'll do that one at negative 400 thou. And then this one, I'll drop it to E for extrude negative um, 0.5. And then this middle piece, I'm gonna E for extrude and I'm gonna go ahead and negative that all the way to 600 thou. So now I've got a nice shape, design, whatever. If I turn the sketch off so now you can see so there's the sort of the quick and dirty power of offsets, right? To, to make something kind of cool and unique um, right off the bat. Um, so there you go. That's really kind of all I wanted to go after tonight. It's a really simple feature to use. Um, I don't know how many people are using it. I like to use it a lot. So anyway, I hope, I hope this is helpful to somebody out there. And uh, like and subscribe and I'll see you soon.